Gabe Silva, you said it was going to be light work and you made it just that. Talk to me about your performance tonight. I mean, I told you guys, this levels, you know, it's not my first rodeo. I told you guys I was going to do, I mean, Ben fought his fight into the ring, but after the ring, that was my fight. And I fought my fight, he fought his. So all fair game to him as well. Right before the first bell, you could see just how calm you were, leaning back on the ropes, almost like you knew that you were in charge the whole way through. Is that how it felt? Yes, I was in charge. I knew exactly how he was going to come. He had, he, had some, he had a pretty decent jab. He kind of, kind of snoozed. It was hard to time it. But then he started flurrying. And then from that flurry of punches, I knew how he was going to guess out. And that's when he started getting sloppy. The fatigue went down. That's, that's when I saw the hook and I took it. He was a little slippery, I thought, in the, uh, the build-up, in the press conference. He didn't let you sort of win the, the verbal battle, if you like. Did you, did you feel that going through? The thing is, he's a good talker. We can't, we can't deny that. That's what he does for a living. So he talked. But I knew I had him because besides talking, he didn't show no, like when I grabbed his collar, for an example, I was kind of giving him a layup to do the trash talk and then to be tough about it because then that would have been uh, uh, emotional my game for me. Like, oh, this guy's talking shit and he can back it up. Kind of like Chael Sonnen, like he wasn't really scared of my dad, but he was talking, talking so much crap. I, I didn't feel that from Ben. I, like I, when I when I fa when, when I looked at him in his eyes and I was like face to face, like he kind of crumbled. So that's when I knew I had him. So I was like, let him do his trash talk in the ring. We'll, we'll take the trash out. What happens now with you? I mean, you mentioned your dad. Do you go back and call him? Will he give you his advice? What he thought his feedback? Can he from a fight like that? Of course, of course. I mean, I want to sit down, go home, enjoy my family, talk to my dad, and see what the plan is next. I mean, there's a lot of things to be happening. There's that October 14 card. I heard that you guys are going in February to Brazil. So there's a lot of good things to make happen, man. And I'm happy. I'm happy to be a part of this whole promotion. You guys been nothing but super welcoming to me. So I would appreciate it if I could, we could do this again for sure. Certainly been a pleasure to work with you so far, Gabe. Just finally, you mentioned Sol Papi. Of course, middleweight fighter, but a heavyweight influencer on the scene, if you like. He's a, he's a big name. Maybe there's a couple of fights to go before we get that. Is there anyone else that catches your eye? Well, like I said, like there's a lot of guys that I want to I want to get the better guys, you know, like I feel like Ben was a little green to me, but I feel like, you know, if we get guys like King Candy, Sal Poppy, some of the little better guys, just to, at least they could box and make it make it look good for me, you know, then that would be good for us. So, yeah, well, I mean, whoever, if we got to build up into that, we'll do that as well. It's no problem for me, man. Well, listen, mate, it's been a pleasure to work with you throughout. We look forward to seeing you next time, be it in October, be it in Brazil, be it wherever. It's been a Thank pleasure. You, brother. Thank you guys for having me. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Thank you.